Chef Dom Taylor was the first Jamaican chef to win the competition show Five Star Kitchen. He did something I've always wanted to do, which is to elevate Jamaican food in a way that is worthy of Michelin stars, baby. I personally would travel to the other side of London. I'd probably go even to the other side of the UK just for the chicken. Oh, that alone, wow. you're through. Amazing. <laughs> On this stage, I haven't come to just take part. I've come here to win. So many people underestimate Jamaican food, but what Chef Dom did was to prove that Jamaican flavors and dishes have always been capable of being center stage of a five-star dining experience. Today, I'm paying tribute to the culinary brilliance of Chef Dom by attempting to recreate a couple dishes from the menu, pop-up restaurant, The Good Front Room. What do you think? <laughs> Best than I think. I printed off the menu here, and I read through all of it and selected a couple of dishes that I think you guys would love. The first dish is the jerk chicken with plantain, jam, and blackened sweet corn dressing. And the second dish is the salsa posset with a passion fruit and shortbread. Sounds yum, right? I've never really had this combination, so I am looking forward to sharing these recipes with you guys. Now, let's get into the food business. To recreate these dishes, I had to use my imagination. I reviewed the entire menu and descriptions below each menu item and did some reverse engineering. But I also interpreted the dishes to make it simpler and easier for you to make at home. First, we will start by roasting our two key ingredients, corn and ripened plantain. To roast these, you will need a gas-powered stove and a cookie rack. Start by oiling your corn with garlic-infused coconut oil, then sprinkle generously with salt. Place your cookie rack on your stove and start roasting on a low heat to ensure your corn is cooked through. Turn occasionally so the corn doesn't char too much. To speed up the cooking process and enhance the smoky flavor, every time I rotate the corn, I cover with a steel bowl. This traps the heat and smoke. For the jerk chicken, you simply marinate two pounds of chicken thighs or breast with two tablespoons of your favorite jerk rub. Next, place them on an oiled cookie rack over the stove burner and grill them for three to four minutes on each side until they're fully cooked through. And that's it. And now it's time for the jackfruit, one of my favorite tropical fruits of all time. Now, jackfruit wasn't featured in the particular dish from Chef Dom's menu, but it was prominent in other dishes. And I thought, why not? Because guess what? I made a jackfruit chutney when I did a catering one year and it paired so perfectly with jerk chicken. I'm like, yeah, this has to go in a salad. Who doesn't like a mix of sweet and salty? We're gonna have a salty sour component in our salad, and this is gonna present the sweet along with her ripe plantain. It's floral, it's kind of sweet, very, it's like, jackfruit is like the gamey fruit in the fruit world. Like it's so rich and ripe and gamey, but in a fruity way, which I love. Woohoo! Our roasted plantain, and we have our roasted corn. It's a little char, give it a little flavor. It's all good in here. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Smell like roasted popcorn. <laughs> to remove your roasted corn kernels, take a small bowl and place it upside down in a larger bowl. Stand your corn on the smaller bowl and use a sharp knife to shave off the kernels. This will cause the kernels to fall into the bigger bowl without making much of a mess. I hope you guys are following up with this tip because it is a keeper. Now for the plantains. All you need to do is remove the skin and dice the plantain into cubes about the same size as your corn kernels. Now we're going to make a quick dressing for our salad. We're going to start by taking two to three garlic cloves by adding them to the mortar and pestle with about a quarter teaspoon of salt. Pound the garlic until it becomes a smooth paste. Next. Add the juice of two large lemons to the paste, then pour in a quarter of a cup of olive oil and mix well to emulsify the vinaigrette. Taste and adjust the salt as needed to balance the flavors. Finally, dice a handful of fresh cilantro or parsley and stir it into the vinaigrette. Look at this to behold. We have all of our salad components already chopped up, cooked, and ready for the grand finale. To assemble our salad, we're going to start by placing about a cup and a half of the cooked orza pasta on a large platter. Add half a cup of small cherry tomatoes, 
one cup of the diced jackfruit, your roasted corn, half a cup of diced purple onions, half a cup of red and yellow bell peppers, half a cup of the broad beans, your plantain, and a tablespoon of grated ginger. Finally, we'll add a cup of diced parsley and top with fresh ground pepper. Sprinkle in half a teaspoon of the grated ginger, then pour over the vinaigrette all over the salad and give it a good mix to distribute everything evenly. Finally, place slices of your jerk chicken on top of the salad. Feel free to mix it up and enjoy as a smorgasbord of divine Caribbean flavors. Here is our amazing salad. It looks really good and it smells aromatic. Everything is jumping at me. I can't wait to taste this. Chef Dom, thanks for the inspiration. <laughs> this is looking mighty good. Look at that fluffiness going on here. All of this yummy roughage, fruits, veggies mixed together. Guess which ingredient is jumping out jackfruit. the most? The jackfruit. <laughs> that is so wild, so exotic tasting, so interesting. Of course, it's a lot to chew because it's good roughage. It's good for your teeth and good for your gut. But this salad is like, it's very exotic, like myself. I was told once by a guy that I look so exotic. Is that true? <laughs> and I think this salad is definitely playing this game. It is so delicious, guys. Like, OMG. And it's crunchy. This is a keeper. Let's get on to the next dish. I went and did a little quick Googling. Essentially, historically, a posset is a historical drink made by curdling hot milk with ale, wine, or other alcoholic beverages. It was often flavored with spices, sweetened with sugar. It was popular in medieval times and was believed to have medicinal properties. But there's no medicinal properties in this now. It's all pleasure here, baby. So in modern times, a pasta typically refers to a dessert made with cream, sugar, and lemon juice thickened with eggs. Okay, so this recipe and a lot of the recipes that I went looking for online it didn't have eggs in it so it's not really a custard it's usually just thickened by cooking the, the heavy cream and then curdling the cream with lemon juice or something acidic so that's what we're gonna do today it's totally egg free and it should be delicious all right so we're gonna start off with two cups of heavy cream in our saucepan and we have half a cup sugar which we're gonna dissolve first and then we're gonna cook it some more make sure all the crystals have dissolved so I'm gonna turn my heat on medium because I want it to simmer and not burn or I don't want it to like curdle before it's time. So I think I'm gonna put it on medium and just let it simmer. So you can think of this like a sauce of ice cream. Have you ever had sauce of ice cream, guys? Okay, so we have been boiling this for five minutes. Now it's time to remove it from the heat. And we are going to add our sauce of juice. Mmm, -hmm. pulpy, pulpy. This is about a cup. I'm gonna pour it in. So it has that sauce up flavor. Give it a stir. And then lemon juice, which is a little bit more, well, a lot more acidic to help it curdle up even more. This is almost, this is a medium lemon, about a third of a cup, but I think I'm gonna do a quarter. Give it a stir. Already started to pick up, guys. This is really cool. I can taste this already. Okay, so now we just set this aside to cool for 10 minutes, get to room temperature, and then we're gonna transfer it to our cute little glasses or ramekins and set it in the fridge for about an hour to even overnight, even better. And you can do this two days before your event, your dinner. We're gonna go into making the shortbread now. To make your almond shortbread cookies, you are going to mix one cup of softened butter into two cups of all-purpose flour with a pinch of salt. Add half a cup of granulated sugar, half a cup of silvered almonds, and one teaspoon almond extract. Mix it until a soft dough is formed. Then you're going to roll it flat and place it on a greased paper and set it in the fridge for about 90 minutes until it hardens. When you're ready to bake, cut out your shapes with a cookie cutter and bake in a preheated oven at 350 Fahrenheit for about 10 to 15 minutes or until the cookies are nicely golden brown. I actually baked my cookies in the air fryer, which was much faster. And here we have it. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm legitimately excited. I don't think I've ever been excited for a dessert like this. If I'm judging by the pre-plating, this dessert is gonna be so addictive. We have our almond cookies here, so buttery, so divine. And I think, oh my God, I'm ready to taste. Are you ready to taste? Are you ready, babe? All right, we're gonna dig in. Oh wow, look at that creaminess. I can't believe how simple this dessert is. Where was this dessert all my life? This is cousin to the ice cream. <laughs> wow. I taste the sauce up. It's subtle. 
but present. It's like sauce up custard. That's really nice, wow. And this is not too sweet either, and it's totally shareable. Let's try some of it on the cookie, which I slightly overbaked in the air fryer. That's how powerful the air fryer is. You really gotta keep your eyes on it, but it's still delicious. Mmm! Mmm, mmm, mmm. A dessert for the ages, whatever time of day. And then you have the little pocket of passion fruit jam or curd at the bottom, which is an extra layer of surprise. You know what I mean? And you can experiment with different flavors. This is what I love about this dessert. You could put chocolate, you could put hazelnut cream. And Jude wants to come in and the guys who are overhearing my excitement hey. and they want to taste. What do you think? My turn. <laughs> <laughs> but then I think. What does the white part taste like, Jude? What fruit is in there? Tell me, taste it and tell me what fruit you taste. Oh, let's see. It's a Jamaican fruit that you love. Guava. No, that's passion fruit at the bottom. But what the white part, what flavor do you taste? Mm. Sour salt. Oh. Do you taste it now? All right, thank you guys so much for watching this very special episode, which is a one part of a three part series, which showcased me trying out or creating different recipes that are inspired by some of the dishes on Chef Dom's Good Front Room menu. It's very exciting to me. I don't know if it's exciting to you, but please share and like this video so that he can pick it up and see that we're out here doing some good things as we're inspired by his great work. All right, people. Bye.